please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Dixon versus Hunt. Thank you, Jerome. Welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. Ms. Dixon, you are furious that your husband, Stephen, denies he fathered your daughter, Tanea. You believe because you cheated in the past, he is holding previous mistakes against you. You plan to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hunt, you state you caught your wife cheating on you and you are convinced you did not father 14-month-old Tanea. You say today's DNA results will determine the future of your marriage. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You were ordered by couples court judges Dana and Keith Cutler to appear in my courtroom after prior infidelity was confirmed in their court. Yes, Take Your Honor. Take a look. I need to know if she's cheating on me. I, I have concerns if my daughter is mine. Ms. Dixon, what do you want to prove today? I mean, I know I messed up in the past, but people change. I have a direct line to Judge Lauren Lake, and this court is ordering you to appear before her to determine if Mr. Hunt is, in fact, the father of your one-year-old daughter. So, Ms. Dixon, you admit that you've been unfaithful in... In the past, In yes. the past. Yes. And you own that. Yes, I do. So, do you understand why Mr. Hunt doubts yes, what you I say? Yes, I do. Why are you cheating in the relationship? What, what happened? Um, in the beginning of our marriage, he would leave and stay gone sometimes for periods of times. I left for a month. I cheated. He had caught me, actually. Had caught me cheating. Um... In the act? In the yes. act, yes. Yes. How did you catch her? Coming home from work, and there's this car in the parking lot. When I, when can I, I approached... Say, can I say something? Okay. The reason for me cheating and when I did it, it wasn't... There is no reason. It wasn't... There's, there's it no wasn't... Good... Okay, it's, it wasn't right. I was intentionally trying to hurt him, so I was not trying to hide that I was cheating. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. I was intentionally... Okay, okay. I'm gonna to give me. you a chance to respond, but I want Mr. Hunt to finish the story yes. about what happened in this car. Yes. I want to know what happened. Okay, so... So, when I walk to the car, I hear the noises and I knock on the window and she blatantly give me the look like, Ann, so what? You, you see what I'm doing? And what was she doing? Uh, cheating. She was with the, with the guy doing whatever she wanted to do. So, it, your it, wife like... was having sex with another man in a car out front of your house? Yes. You were trying to get caught. Yeah. Because you wanted to be in front of the house, because you wanted your husband to come home and mm -hmm. catch you, because you wanted to get him back. Yep. Ooh. Goodness. So now, how soon after that did you find out that you're pregnant? A couple of months after that happened. Just a couple of months? Just a couple of months after that happened. You find I, I out you're pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. What happens? Who do you tell? Take me back to that day. Okay, do you tell yeah, your I husband? Told, I told my husband. And because when... the due dates from the time I conceived her to the time they said I was due... I didn't sleep with him. I only... It was, that was a one-night... That was a one-time thing. Okay, but that's After... all it takes. Yep. Yeah, that's you true. You know that. That's true. So, you had sex with this guy one time out in mm -hmm. front of the house. Yeah. Was it protected? No. So, unprotected sex with this guy one time out in front of your house, mm -hmm. but when you get pregnant, do you just tell your husband I'm pregnant or do you tell the other guy too? I never told him. So, just tell your husband? Yeah. Once she tells you, Mr. Hunt... What was your response? I, I, all the... Everything else just went out of the window. I was just happy to... I was having a baby girl. And so, at what point does the doubt kick in? When I'm thinking about the time and I'm realizing that I, I was gone during the whole month of June. And... I got back basically July 1st. July 1st and... No. She's trying to tell me that I was... I, like, was when I left... With, he was there with me on my birthday, so... I left how the whole you, month of June. How did you get back in July? Back. So, so, he never left? He left, but he came back on June 1st. She might be confused. I'm really just She might like, be confused I'm because really just I wasn't there, like but my brother was there. taking my past and being spiteful with it. No, and, no. My His brother, brother came my brother was there though. though. That's like my little my, brother. Look, I wouldn't my let brother him sleep was out there, on the street. So, so, but, but realize Get I'm talking to her here. on the phone every day, right? And why didn't she mention this for a, a, a minute? And she's never said anything. He wasn't anything. even there for that. So, moment. are you insinuating that you believe your brother could be Tanea's biological father? It's a possibility. Oh. <sighs> wow. And you brought a witness. Yes. 
I'd like to hear from her. Uh, Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Janisha Cooper. Ms. Cooper, you are what relation to the defendant? I'm her aunt. You are the plaintiff's aunt? Oh, mm-hmm. yes. This is interesting. <laughs> My whole thing about this case, to even insinuate she something like never, that... She never said anything about him, like, about I don't him care, though. He wasn't there, though. She, so I'm she just, just saying, let me know that he was there. Well, she she but wait a minute, know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ms. Cooper, hold on, hold on. Ms. Cooper... What's your motive? Explain to the court... Are, are you saying that you believe that Mr. Hunt's brother could potentially be Tanea's biological father? You're, you believe that Ms. Dixon was being intimate with her husband's brother? Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court cases everyone's going to be talking about. It's a possibility. And why would you think that's a possibility? That's your family member. What makes you think that's a possibility? I mean, because it... She, she clearly cheated. And, I mean, he's gone. What is... Okay. If, if he's still no. there, when well, he's look, gone, why look. is he still there? I'm gonna me, take my brother me with me. Me cheating and then me sleeping with someone whose blood related to him, what kind of... Okay. What kind of... Char- what characteristics would have I shown you as you being my auntie that I'm that type of person? If I slept with somebody I mean, else you, who ain't I mean, no you're intentionally him. willing to get caught in front of your own house. Yeah. Right? I mean, so yeah, that clearly proves that you're that no, person. No. No. All right. No. So. He didn't even know she, he was staying there. So, you know... Right. What? You act like you caught us doing something. I mean, I didn't okay. catch you doing nothing, but at the end of the day, I'm saying, but I've seen him there. there. Place, Forget period. That. At the end of the day, she admitted to it on couples court. She admitted this. I admitted so, to it being so a possibility a... of the guy I slept with not sleeping okay. with your brother. Okay, that's, I'm just, that's overboard. I'm trying to get all possibilities out of, out of the way. Uh, uh, and you so do that believe that it's a possibility that your brother could be Tanea's biological yes, father? Yes, it, it's a possibility. I'm saying, I, and if not that, then it's a possibility <laughs> that they slept together. And if that's not the case, then uh, I need an apology on both ends. Oh, I'm on, on, about on both ends. All right. Well, Miss Dixon, you brought a witness as well. And I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please stand. Please state your name for the court. Katisha Dixon. And what is your relationship to Miss Dixon? Her mother. Okay. Now, who do you think is Tanea's biological father? Steven. You do? Mm-hmm. And you believe that without a doubt? Without a doubt. Why? She looked just like him. And I tell my and mom And then everything. by saying it's the brother, no. Okay. It's suspicious. You just need to stay and mind your own business. That's what you need I, to well, do. Well, you put me in the business, I'm all the way here. Clearly. Ain't nobody put you in there. You be well, nosy here. and stuff. You act like you seen them doing it. So, hold on. I mean, so, Miss Dixon, look. I want to be clear. You don't believe your daughter had a sexual relationship with her husband's brother. You don't no. believe that. No. Do you believe that there's any chance that the other man could be... Tanea's biological file. No, because it don't add up. The months don't add up. All right, well, let's get all the cards laid on the table. I want to hear from Mr. Hunt. Jerome, can you please escort Mr. Hunt's brother into the courtroom? Yes, sir. If you go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Mr. Hunt. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. I have a few questions for you. There's been testimony thus far that indicated that you were staying at your brother's house while he was out of town. Were you staying there with Ms. Dixon? Yes, ma'am. Did your brother, Mr. Hunt, know you were there at the time? No, ma'am. There's also been testimony that indicates that you potentially could have gotten into a sexual relationship with Ms. Dixon and could be Tanea's biological father. Do you believe you are Tanea's biological father? No, ma'am. Do you admit to having a sexual relationship with Ms. Dixon? No, ma'am. You did not? No. So, Ms. Hunt, what is your relationship like now with all of this doubt? What, what's happening in the relationship? Um, I mean, we have times where we're good and we're... <laughs> We had a steady float, and then it'll take something as small as that don't have nothing to do with the baby or anything, and he'll go off. But I know what it's I know what it's about. 
I know why, you know? So that's why I decided to come here, to just get this out of the way, no. get it done. Look, so I that way... Look I, I, look, I can't. I can't sleep. I hold my daughter. And instead of me loving my daughter and looking at my daughter, I'm analyzing my daughter. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my daughter like is, this, like, is this my baby? Instead of me taking the time to care about this child, I'm taking the time to, to, to look at this child. When I'm up at night, I'm staring at this child, not because how beautiful it is, but is this my child? I shouldn't be looking at my child like, is this my child? And, or, or, or looking at it, and, and, and she's smiling back at me, but I'm studying, like, is that my smile? And saying, oh, that's a beautiful smile. I'm saying, oh, well, like is that my smile? So, and that's what really what this is about. I need to know. So you're think, physically present, but you're not emotionally no, present. Mm -hmm. No. And your mind is always somewhere else. Yes. And this doubt is basically permeating the fabric of your marriage and also the relationship you have with this beautiful, innocent baby. And that's got to hurt. Yes. Because these are the golden moments. These are the early months where you're just so excited, and the reason why you can't take your eyes off of them is because you don't want to miss anything they do. Mm -hmm. Yes. But instead, you're analyzing physical features and everything she does to see if it in any way looks like you because you have that much doubt. Yes. And, Ms. Dixon, you say that you know you've had a part to play in this. Yes. If this is what comes from cheating, I just want to get past this and prove to him <clears throat> that I never touched his brother, that that's his daughter, and for us to just go forward because we've got past the cheating part. But what keeps bringing that up is the doubt that he has about his child. So if we can fix that, then we can fix our marriage. Instead of acting like a woman that was married, I was acting like a teenager or someone who didn't know no better. But I do. I do know better, and I just want to get better. And you're hoping... And you're hoping that ultimately these paternity results will save your marriage, will help mm -hmm. you get your marriage on track. Save my family. Uh, it's no us going forward without this. It's not because it's not fair to her. It's not fair to him. Have you thought about, Mr. Hunt, what will happen if you are not Tanea's biological father? Yes, I think about that all the time. And I can't get past that. Like, I don't... like. I need to know where, where, where I stand with her. It's gonna be just basically bad to the point to where I would have to leave. So this marriage is truly on the line yes. today? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's time we get you the answers. Look. So we can see where to go from here. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Dixon versus Hunt, when it comes to 14-month-old Tanea Hunt, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Chris Hunt, you are not the father. Mr. Hunt, how do you feel about hearing that news? It's great. I, 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 I mean, it's, I love my brother. I just needed to know and get that out of the way. And... Understood. The next result reads as follows. In the case of Dixon versus Hunt, if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to 14-month-old Tanea Hunt, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stephen Hunt, you are not the father. Oh. Who is the daddy? You are not the biological No. Father. Who the daddy, Janae? No, it's, it's no possibility of nobody else being her, her dad. Except for the guy that I cheated with, but... The DNA doesn't lie. Do you know how to find the guy from the car, the one you purposefully 
had sex with? Do you know where he is? No, I don't know. Well, this is really... This is sad. I mean, this is, this is, this is a moment because it seemed like you two had just been through so many ups and downs, and yet you remain committed to just trying to figure this out together and work through these trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. And this is not easy. You've developed a relationship, I see, with Tanea, Mr. Hunt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like at this point you can continue to try to work on the marriage? Yeah, I... Now, now, now there's even so much more questions. Like, I, what I'm going to do, start bringing all my kids up here and just start testing them off. And, and these are things I'm going to think about. And I, I'm... I swear when I cheated on him, I didn't mean to hurt him like this. I meant to hurt his feelings and let him see how I felt, but I never... I never, I never would do that to hurt him like this. Not with, not with a child. Not to put another life in the middle of it. I want you to go talk to Dr. Jeff now, okay? I wish you the very, very best. Court is adjourned.